Hey guys, it's Ryan with My Listing Club. In this video, I'll be introducing you to a new partnership with the folks behind WP Codebox. WP Codebox is a solution for easily adding and managing code snippets across all of your My Listing websites. So what we're gonna cover here is the partnership, the club's guide for WP Codebox, and the solution as it applies to your My Listing websites. I'll be showing you on the back end uh, what this thing looks like and uh, some of the, the bells and whistles and all that good stuff. Uh, as I like to do before we get started, a little bit of housekeeping. So on the My Listing Club website, if you go under Menu and either Resource Finder or My Listing Resources here on this, by clicking on this card, um, you will find the guide that will be discussed today. And uh, we'll go ahead and click on Resource Finder and then content and just do a search for WP code and this if we were to click on this first link here that is the partnership itself and uh, if you are a, a member of the club paying member of the club you'll see the discount information is unlocked uh, the team behind WP code box was generous enough to give us a 25% off discount for the community the plugin is already inexpensively priced so it is just a really awesome deal for what you get um, and then the second link here would be the guide, how to easily manage code snippets for your My Listing website. Yeah, I'll go ahead and close. Um, actually, we'll go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to bring this. This is the guide that's, that's now available on the club website. That we're going we're gonna to run through this. And then here at the bottom, there's also another link to the partner discount. Okay, so I'm going to move this to a different screen so I can follow along here with it. So here we are lo we're looking at a My Listing website it has the demo installed, or the main My Listing demo installed. So that's what we're going to work from today. Uh, if we jump over into the back end here in the WordPress dashboard, we'll just start at the dashboard. So here we are, WordPress dashboard, My Listing website. On the left hand side here, you're going to see WP Code Box in the menu, and that's because the plugin has been installed and activated. So if we were to click on this menu item. As we discussed in the guide, one of the first things we like to do personally is click on the settings icon at the top, tick this box here, and what this does is it's going to move WP Code Box from being its own WordPress menu item, it's going to move it under the WordPress tools menu item. It's just a way to clean up the WordPress dashboard, you know, it can get super cluttered depending on how many plugins you have installed and which plugins you have installed. So it's just a nice way to, to tidy things up or keep things tidy. Okay, we're gonna check that box and we're gonna click save. And then after we do that, we'll just refresh the page. And that conveniently just keeps us right there in WP code box. So really nice of them to do that. Okay, so we've covered the setup. And the next thing we wanna do is just go over adding a code snippet. And uh, we're gonna do a, an actual code snippet here for another purpose. So let's go ahead and we'll just put uh, a title in here, test, and optionally put a description in, but I highly recommend you put description in every time unless it's just super blatantly obvious what this snippet does because as you go along and further down the road, you, you may forget, or especially if you're gonna share this with your clients or customers or just somebody else, um, you want them to be able to see the description and easily know what this is. Another benefit to using the description is you don't necessarily then need to add a comment into your actual code, which will add weight to the code, uh, to the file. So just something to keep in mind there. Just try to keep, I recommend just always erring on the side of adding a nice description in there. Okay, so we're gonna change this particular snippet to CSS. So you can see here, you can choose from these options. We're gonna just go with CSS here. The priority, you can almost always leave this as a default. The lower the priority, the higher priority it's given, if that makes any sense at all. Um, you rarely have to change this, like I said. If you find that a script is not running for whatever reason, lower the priority and and then test it that way. And uh, some cases you may have to do that. I've never personally had to do that, but uh, you know, every website's different. Uh, for CSS, you're gonna want it 
script location to run in the header. So that's fine as the default. And we're going to talk about the CSS dev mode here in a short bit. Um, CSS is just default, actually grays this out. You're always going to want it to run on page load. And for CSS, you can run it in the front end or you can apply that CSS to the back end or both. Or we're also going to talk about this here soon is this custom option. So for this particular uh, case, we're just going to choose the front end. Okay. And um, let's jump over to, uh, actually before that, let's go ahead and save this snippet. I'll jump over to the front end of the site and we're just going to work on this heading right here. Okay. So if we inspect that heading, let's just grab, for the purposes of this video, let's just grab this selector right here. Okay, so we're just going to copy that selector. We're going to jump back into WP code box. We're going to drop that selector in. We're going to put our brackets in. And we're going to say color red. All right, and we're going to just save this snippet and we're going to enable it. And then we're going to refresh this page. And that's not taking taking hold. So what that tells me is it's most likely it's being overwritten by the theme. So we need to jump back into WP code box and we're just going to add this important declaration, which WP code box has that really awesome feature of autocomplete. So you just start typing it in and it's, it's going to give you some a menu options. Really nice. And we're going to save this again. We're going to refresh this page. Bam. There we go. So just like that, we've used WP code box to apply some CSS to our site. Let's go back into WP code box and let's toggle on this CSS dev mode. Okay. Now with that on, we're just going to go ahead and refresh this page one time. And that kicks in CSS dev mode for us. And what that's going to allow us to do is adjust this CSS and see the changes in real time without having to refresh this page. So we're going to jump back into WP code box and let's just change this to green and save. We'll go back to the front end of the site. There you go. You're already, it's already changed by the time you get back there. Super cool feature. All right. So we like what we see. We're just going to toggle this off and that's really all there is to that particular feature. So uh, let me go back to my guide here and make sure I don't miss anything as far as what we're trying to cover here. So we've done the type, the priority, the script location, um, how to run the script, where to run the script. That's pretty much it for, for adding code snippets. Um, as you change the type down through here, so PHP will be another really popular one. Uh, let's take that out. I don't know why that's in there. Oh, that's because it's our changed our script. Okay. So PHP is another popular one. Um, JavaScript is going to be another one. And as you notice, like if you, when you do the PHP one, it's going to drop, drop in this syntax before you can even input your, your code. So that's a nice feature. Uh, just make sure it just makes sure that you don't miss that syntax, which will, will break things. So yeah. So like I said, if you just start typing, you're going to get this menu of stuff. It's really nice. So if you can't think of the name of something or whatever, like it just gives you a really nice menu there for some autocomplete options. Um, so let's just go ahead and refresh without saving here. So we've got our, we've got our CSS snippet here. So now Let's say we want to um, at, apply this conditionally. So if we were to jump down here back, where do we run or want to run this snippet? Let's change this to custom. And let's click on the, that unlocks this conditions builder. So let's click on that. And from there, we can set some conditions on when to apply that CSS. So let's say we wanted to apply that CSS to list listings um, every Monday of the week. Yeah, it sounds crazy, but it's possible. So let's click on add condition here. We're going to change location to current post type. We're going to change the post type 
to job listing, which is the listings. So it's telling us our current post type is job listings. Let's add another condition, change location to day of the week, and we'll change that to Monday. And so we see here that if, if the post type is a listing and it's Monday, we are gonna apply that setting, okay? Uh, so let's save and close. And today is not Monday. So if we go back here and refresh this, Oh, it's not a listing. Okay, that's my bad. Okay, so it's so it's not a valid test, really. Uh, we could um, uh, here we could just change this. Let's edit the conditions builder. Let's change it from just, it's a page. So this by doing this, it's saying any page, and if it's a Monday, let's apply the CSS. So that should drop off. Let's um, let's play with this a bit here. Um, that should do it. Now let's just play with the page URL. Let's just do um, let's just do the home page. So page URL contains the home page URL, and it's Monday. Let's see if this works. Oh, I didn't save it. That might be why. Okay, there we go. So it's not Monday, so that green should not kick in. So it is, what is today, Tuesday? Let's change this to uh, Tuesday. And save. I, I think I just forgot to save last time. All right, let's refresh. Because it is Tuesday and this is the home page, it should change that color back to green. And it does. Pretty cool stuff, man. All right. Geeking out, geeking out over that one. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the for that part, the conditions builder we've covered. Okay, so you, you like this, you like this snippet, and you want to potentially use it on other my listing websites or give it to your clients or, or whatever. You can click this upload to cloud icon, and you see here on the left hand side your snippet now has a little cloud icon next to it so that tells you it's in the cloud so let's pretend like now you've logged into another my listing website you've signed in uh you've installed wp code box and all that good stuff um, what you can do then is you can go and figure out what you have up in the cloud you can click this download from cloud button and that's gonna download it just to that, that WordPress install that you're working on. So I know hypothetically saying, let's say that you pre-configured some code snippets for a particular client, and then you uploaded it to your cloud account, and then now you've logged into the client's website and you just wanna download those snippets to their local WordPress install and uh, you know get it out of your own cloud um, account or whatever. That's 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 one that's one scenario where that would be really cool. Okay. So let's see. Let's go back to the guide here. We covered cloud storage. Okay. This one, this one is really super cool. Okay. So you can see here, um, cloud snippets is already populated. So this is the club's account that you're working with, and you see all these snippets, but it's in the cloud. So how did how did they get there? Well, there's this repository icon right here. If we click on that, you'll see that WP Codebox comes with a, a large repository of snippets that have either came from WP Codebox themselves or contributors like me, the My Listing Club, have contributed. So lots of things you can choose from here and just, uh, you just if you select it and then it's gonna give you the code and you can download it right to your account and then upload it into your cloud account. Okay, so really cool feature here though, is that as part of this partnership, we've uploaded a bunch of snippets that are just related to my listing. We'll be uploading some others that are, you know, to help contribute for WooCommerce and whatnot. But if you click here on my listing, you'll see a bunch of snippets in here. And these are also on the club website, but uh, you're gonna see some that you, um, 
that are very you're familiar with. But open listings in a new browser tab. There you go. Just grab it, copy it, download it, whatever you want to do. Uh, just really cool stuff. And like I said, we'll be adding some more snippets to here to contribute. Um, so really cool. So yeah, so earlier I showed you, if, like if you just wanted to, to download a snippet to this particular install. So here we have the cloud snippets on the left-hand side here. So let's just say we wanted to pull down this uh, this combine WooCommerce combine endpoints. So you just click this little download icon and there it goes. Now you see that it dropped down to this local station. Yeah, just really cool stuff. And then another feature, you can click on this generate box right here and that's gonna help you create, uh, generate a shortcut, a short code, a custom short code. It's, yeah, that's outside of this video and this guide for now, um, but it will be explored and then added to the guide here shortly. Um, and, but as you see here, like coming soon, custom post type generator and hook action generator, very exciting stuff. Um, what else, what else? You can add folders in here. So my listing, let's just say you work on multiple themes. So, um, hit enter there. So there's your my listing folder. If you work in Astra, for example, the Astra theme, uh, I'll click a new folder, Astra. So then you can consolidate and kind of move stuff around. So, you know, it's just really cool stuff. Um, okay, I think that's about it. Um, let me check, check my guide one more time. So we've covered the setup, the adding of the code snippets, CSS dev mode, the conditions builder, cloud storage, the repository, and then the discount. So that's pretty much it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this plugin and this partnership and the deal. And uh, take care. See you on the other side. See ya.